In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to add VAT to an invoice in QuickBooks Online. Whether you're managing finances for a large enterprise or you're a small business owner, knowing how to properly add VAT can significantly streamline your accounting processes. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have mastered the simple steps necessary to ensure that your invoices detail VAT correctly, keeping your financial records accurate and compliant. Let's dive right in. First, you'll need to access QuickBooks Online, a cloud-based accounting software. Head over to your web browser and go to QuickBooks Online's homepage. For those who are already familiar with QuickBooks, this will be a straightforward process, but if you're new, QuickBooks is a platform offering robust financial tools, and it will prompt you to sign in, which is our next step. Once you're on the QuickBooks homepage, look towards the top right corner of the page, and you will see the Sign In option. Click on this button to begin the login process. It's important to always ensure you're entering your credentials securely. Now type in your email and password. Be sure to double check that these details are correct to avoid any login issues. And if you have trouble remembering your password, you can always use the forgot password feature to reset it. After entering your credentials, click on sign in to proceed. Once you're logged in, you'll find yourself on the dashboard, which is the central hub for all your QuickBooks activities. Take a minute to familiarize yourself with this space if it's one of your first visits. It houses important functions and data that you'll likely use frequently. Now our focus is on taxes, so we need to navigate to the taxes section. On the left hand side of your screen you will see a vertical menu. In this menu, locate and click on taxes. This section is where you manage all tax related elements in QuickBooks. Once in the taxes section, you'll look for an option labeled add tax. This selection is where you'll configure new tax settings, including adding VAT to your invoices. Click on it to proceed to the next step. When you open this, you'll see various settings that are relevant to setting up your tax rates. Now you'll want to click on tax rate. This will bring up options where you can input specific tax information. Here you'll begin to personalize the tax details according to your business needs. Now add your tax name, which is a label you can use to identify this particular tax rate for your business records. It's good practice to choose a name that is clear and descriptive, perhaps matching the VAT rate or its purpose. Next, you'll need to enter the VAT rate itself. This can simply be typed into the provided field. Make sure you have the correct percentage that applies to your business type and location, as different regions may have varying VAT rates. Following this, you need to click on Tax Agency. This is a crucial step as it determines who the tax will be applied under. After clicking, you'll be prompted to select your specific tax agency from a list. Ensure you select the appropriate agency that corresponds with your VAT obligations. Once your tax agency is selected, the next piece of information to input is your purchase rate. This rate indicates the VAT that applies when your business is purchasing goods or services. Enter the applicable rate in the provided field to keep your incoming expenses accurate. With all these fields filled out, you then need to choose the account that the VAT will be linked to. Typically, this would be your primary business account or the one you use for financial transactions. This step ensures all VAT is tracked accurately, linking back to your main accounting ledger. Finally, with all details confirmed and correct, your last step involves clicking on Save. This crucial action solidifies all the information you've entered, integrating your VAT settings into QuickBooks so that future invoices automatically reflect these tax rates. And just like that, you have successfully added V8 to your QuickBooks invoices. Congratulations on following through this process. You've not only simplified your invoicing system, but also ensured better financial tracking. Remember, maintaining accurate financial records is essential for business success and ensures compliance with tax regulations. Thank you for participating in this tutorial. I hope you found this walkthrough clear and beneficial. Don't forget to revisit any steps should you need a refresher and always stay informed on any changes to VAT regulations that could impact your business. Until next time, happy accounting.